what's up beautiful people in this video i will be combating my white fire problem in the backyard this time but i have some extra arsenal that i'm going to use to take care of this so make sure you stay tuned because you can do it too if you have such a grow bag garden situation as i do let's get to it what's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with us Great people, how y'all doing? It's me, Ricky Jones Jr. Back again for another video. And like I said, this one, I am combating some white fly problems or some, I don't know, some pest problems on my collars and my kale in the backyard, which these have been doing oh so well in the grow bags. However, I've been paying attention to them more often. And now I'm noticing seeing some problems, which I'm gonna address, which if y'all don't know, I have some chickens here in the backyard now. I don't know how up to date you are on the videos, but as you can see, those are my lovely ladies. They are eating some of the kale that I would not be able to eat because it had that damage and I didn't want to partake in it, okay? I like my leaves to be nice and clean, okay? So what I'm gonna do is show you what you should do to prevent such problems from happening from you. But then also we're gonna plant some uh, wonder plants to be able to get rid of this problem and keep it away going forward, okay? So make sure y'all stay tuned, make sure you stay locked in because I'm gonna teach you something, show you something that you should do in your garden as well. Well, as let me know in the comment section below what do you do as well other than what I will show you all in this video okay and if you're new to the channel please go ahead and subscribe we are on our way to 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2022 with the help of you we'll be able to do so okay I said that fast so I can go ahead and get into it so let's get to the fun y'all all right so first I want to show you all the problem in which so you can see it as well for yourself you can see the little clusters right there those are cluster of eggs okay and those are usually the white fly larvae that are planted there on the bottom of the leaves largely because it keeps the um, eggs from being directly in the sun there you can see this one is highly infested i can give those to the chickens because they will love oh my gosh look at that one this is coming off actually some you can try to preserve and others you just need to let go of and this is one of my friends that it just needs to be let go of okay you can see the damage you can see the eggs and they are just crawling with larvae okay and so what we're going to use is our handy dandy neem oil which i will put in the description below you can find it on amazon have it to your house immediately okay and so this will stop this from taking place um, as well as the super plant that we're going to plant but i think i've shown you all the problem already and even on the cabbage you can see it down below at the bottom of the leaves is which where you will usually find that and this is a symptom of damage right and so this is grows into something that will do this and then this will be the outcome of it okay and so we don't want droopy plants we want live and vibrant plants so i'm gonna go around and spray those that have the damage um just you know maybe look over there and i'm gonna tell you about what i did with these areas too i did this because of this so this won't happen to that okay but we're gonna spray those things as well and then we're gonna plant but let me spray i'm gonna tell you about these and then we'll go from there let's go spray some neem oil the super uh, plant itself that helps to get rid of pests and things like this going forward such as your white flies or your marigolds now I bought these bad boys probably about four days ago and they have been sitting out so they are definitely dry which I feel bad because of uh, feel neglected them I definitely neglected them so what I'm gonna do is try to plant these here prayerfully they do recover to the glory in which they were when I picked them up, which I was so happy about them because they look oh so great. And this is actually a raised bed that I built out of pallet wood um, some time ago, uh, probably years at this point. And so I'm gonna just plant three in here 
and uh, let it do what it needs to do. Obviously, I need to water these bad boys because they haven't been watered probably since they left the store. I thought it would well, rain, so they did get a little rain, but they weren't in any type of condition where water was preserved so that they could, you know, retaliate, respond, and all that good stuff. So we're just gonna plant these and then I'll show you how I plant some more. <laughs> I was so happy to plant those marigolds that I forgot to tell you about this here situation that I have going on. So what I have is in the center of this one, I have sage in the center of that one, they were marigolds, okay? And so around them, I have my kale, okay? With the idea that this is a great sage being, no, it's actually mint. This is mint, this is spearmint. Spearmint is a good repellent for pests that does target kale um, and things like that. So that's why I put it in the center so that it would, the wind would blow and you know, the air would do what the air would do, needs to do and it would help repel the pests, which these actually look very, very good. I must say it is working out for the kale. The marigolds have died a little bit, so it's not doing what I 100% intended for it to do, which I just need to go ahead and give it a nice watering today. Um, but however, we have some collard greens growing here and then kale going around these kale look magnificent okay so it is working well for these areas okay and so if you have some grow bags maybe this is a situation that you want to do just set it up in pod areas okay and even in between you can plant marigold right here which if i had a bucket i think i do i may go and grab her now but i'll put a bucket right here and so it's even connector and i can put some kale on either side of the bucket so that's the whole idea behind this here setup that i have going on and i do recommend it for others because like i said it is working out for the kale right here with the spearmint in the center and then the kale going around it as such right it's getting the proper um, ventilation in the air as well as protection okay because what smell travels through the air so as long as there's wind as long as there's air the smell will do what it needs to do okay so you don't necessarily have to plant it in the same grow bag as the plant itself but you can plant it around such as this and it will do the same thing okay so what I'm gonna do is get a five gallon bucket plant some marigolds in there I have the marigolds protecting over here and then I just need something for this side and I feel like I will have the nice protected area that I want for my grow bags largely because I need to be able to eat and sell these produce back here and not necessarily feed the flies so let me go ahead and do that I already sprayed the neem oil and uh, we'll be good to go from there let's go y'all all right so in this five gallon bucket I'm actually gonna do two five gallon buckets easy to move around really I could do one but I don't have anything else ready that could be used as a planting five gallon bucket. Ah, let's see. All right. There's the other one. Place it in there nice and good like so so we have some yellow ones we have some orange ones make sure I give that a water also had this here pot 10 cat quart excuse me 10 quart container that I had around that I broke I was used to use it for uh, washing the car and so just think hey there's different things that you may have used containers for and things like that that now can be repurposed for the garden and of course it's going to be hidden because the grow bags are going to be all around it so nobody will see it it's going to go in there nice and <laughs> all right so i have put the five gallon bucket with two marigolds right here so they can be in protection of the kale and this here area right here and then we have protection going on in the middle with the marigolds there but then of course like i said i have the um i don't even know what i'm gonna call it so i'm just let you off give it a name but essentially i have the marigolds there it's going to be covered the grow bags are actually taller than the bucket itself so when i have uh marigold excuse me kale kale um it 
cover and blend very nicely. And so here we have the marigold in the center. Definitely need to water these bad boys before I end this video. <laughs> Just mental notes for self. But nevertheless, it has protection there. And then I do have the rosemary over here as well in this five gallon bucket protecting here we have lemongrass growing there as well just to give nice protection to my little seedlings that are growing in the grow bags which i did a video for okay so here we go ladies and gentlemen here is the protection plan for my grow bags going forward or should i say growing forward so that i can alleviate the white problem excuse me white fly problem and things like that definitely need to go ahead and drain the water from there so no mosquitoes or anything start to uh, surface and so we should be good to grow from here i have everything watered except for that marigold over there ha but nonetheless everything should be good to grow from here protected and ready to go okay so hey if you have buckets if you have things around the garden definitely give it a use because hey it's not being used right now and it can be used and it will be covered if you do use the method in which i just showed you all which building the old perimeter around the bad boy you'll be set okay and so also with the marigolds growing below the kale and things itself it will allow for the proper smells and things to stop the white flies and other things from doing what they were doing which was causing problems i'm looking at the chicks man chicks are also fun and entertaining to have around in the yard in the garden because they always give you entertainment because they're always doing something that is also amazing okay but at the end of the day we have solved the problem for now make sure you click that subscribe button click that button notification so you are aware of updates to not only this video but other videos that you've seen on the channel and i say that with the idea that you've seen other videos if not definitely go back find something i'm sure it's something that you will need to see something that will be entertaining for you as well as educational okay so i like to do both but with that being said with that being shown i love you all i appreciate you all and if you have any questions comments or concerns definitely let me know in the comment section down below and if not myself one of us in the community will definitely reach out to you and facilitate that response okay so hey with that being said i love you all i'll see you on the next video